Hallelujah, glory to God, praise Master Jesus. God bless each and every one under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. The Bible says it's a new day and a new beginning and God has something new for each and every one coming across this channel for in Jesus' mighty name. This particular prophetic word title says someone wants to replace you but unable to due to God's message. Someone is planning to replace you. Hallelujah. They want to replace you, but unable to due to God's message. I am seeing somebody under the sound of my voice. I'm seeing you in the midst of competition. Like competition. We are living in a world whereby, hallelujah. If you want to look right deep, you, you will realize that friends are fighting friends. Brothers are fighting brothers. Prophets are fighting prophets. Hallelujah. Evangelists are fighting evangelists. Most of the time, you realize that people fight their kind. Like people that are trying to be like them. When you're about to do something, you're about to do something in life. And the first person you start fighting, attacking, is the same person that has gone ahead of you. But meanwhile, that is not what we call life. In the name of Jesus. I saw somebody at the place of prayers, like somebody is planning to replace you. I'm seeing people grouping. They are just jealous of you. They are jealous of what you're doing. And they just want to try by all possible means to replace you. Their plan is just for you to go in the mighty name of Jesus. And you yourself, you're about to give up because you're discouraged. You have asked yourself, it's useless for me to be in the meet or walking somewhere where they don't prioritize me, they don't value me, they don't care about me. You're even afraid with your life that if I'm here, something happened to me at the end. What will I tell my people? Praise Master Jesus. At this particular point of time, you feel as to give up. You're watching me, people of God, and you are that way to give up. You're looking into your life, you feel as if everything is gone, as if you just want to give up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ebado shake there. This particular prophetic word is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. The Bible says, if a son of man set you free, you are free indeed. Hallelujah. If God lift up a man, no man can bring down that person. But if a man lifts you up, know that one day a man can bring you down. That position of which you are watching me sitting on, is it in that office? in that church, in the ministry, in your calling, in the body of Christ, or whatever thing that you're doing in that business, I want you to ask yourself one question. Hallelujah. Ask yourself one question. If you can be able to, to answer this question I'm about to ask you, then you will get these particular words very well. Who puts you in that position? Hallelujah. Did you go to school because of competition or comparison? Did you start the business because you wanted to fight someone and bring the person down? Did you start doing ministry or preaching the gospel because you are fighting somebody or because you just want to show yourself that you can do such a thing? Are you manifesting yourself or, a, or, or the power God has given you in that particular area of which you are called? Because you want to advance the world or because you want to help the society or you are there for comparison. Because wheresoever any man that God called, God will provide for you. God, God, God has never called somebody and abandoned that person. When Jesus Christ sent, sent the disciple, Jesus Christ said, go, do not take anything. Praise Master Jesus. Do not take anything. As they were growing, even the clothes on them were growing. The shoes were also growing. Hear me? Mystery mystery so whenever somebody is fighting you in a position whereby god bless you there calm down hallelujah the bible says we do not fight against flesh and blood we fight against principalities and power whenever they grumble at you go back and put your knees on the ground do not forget we have altars which is our sacred place where we fight our unseen battle the Bible says we do not fight against flesh and blood. So therefore, if they are attacking you physically, it's an error. Go back and correct them. Go back and put your knees and use the weapon of correction. Let them know 
that the Bible says in the book of 1 Psalms 105, verse 15, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I am the anointed one of God. I cannot be touched. I cannot be betrayed in the name of Jesus. God bless each and everyone joining in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for somebody. I saw someone they are fighting. They want to replace you. Hallelujah. But the Lord said a message has been released. Nobody can replace you. Oh my God, I saw somebody under the sound of my voice. They want to replace you. But this message is coming directly to you that they cannot succeed in replacing you because God is the one that placed you there. Listen to me. When the Lord sent Samuel to anoint David as king, according to Samuel, the other sons of Elia were, were the chosen one. Hallelujah. He poured the oil, but the oil never came out because God, the oil, the oil was waiting for the right person to run down. Listen to me. I want to pray a covenant prayer with somebody under the sound of my voice. Two cannot come together unless they agree. I declare and I decree any man or any woman that is fighting to remove you from your position, to replace you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, I come in the apostolic and I prophesy. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the God of Elijah that answer by fire, let it answer you now. Any evil hand rise no more against you. I bring the hands back to judgment in the name of Jesus. Any man that have made a decree or a vow that your life will go down, that you are going to go down with shame on that position where God placed you. You are not going down in the name of Jesus. I said you are not going down for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.